You show me the money. Show me the money. Yeah. Louder. Show me the money. That's it, brother. But you got to yell at me. Show me the money. I need to feel you, Jerry. Show me the money. Jerry, you better yell. Show me the money. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, money, money. Ah, uh, Joe B. the Money! We'll be on post game tonight. After the Celtics game, Sarone Battle will be with me. I'm sure we'll be doing all basketball. So it's time for Joe Me the Money, and I'll make this quick, everybody. Texans at Ravens. I'm going under 44. Baltimore's defense. Let's keep that bet going, baby. Baltimore's defense allowed the fewest points this season. Ranked number one in scoring defense, sixth. In total defense this year, they met in week one. Baltimore won 25 to 9. It was CJ Stroud's first game. He was held out of the end zone and was sacked five times. He was great last week, but he's going from dome to outside. The big story here is Lamar Jackson, one playoff win back in 2020. Historically, has struggled as a favorite and in the playoffs. I'm going under 44. Texans Ravens Packers and 49ers hey let's give credit to the 49ers Jordan Love 21 touchdowns one interception his last nine games and how about Aaron Jones rushed for 118 yards and three touchdowns versus Dallas it was his fourth consecutive game of more than 110 yards but teams to win as an underdog in the wild card round and then are an underdog on the road in the next game two in 17 straight up Nine and ten against the spread. Going with the chalk here. 49ers cover the spread. Bucks at Lions. Well, Tampa Bay has relied on its defense all year and has won six of their last seven. They're holding opponents under 15 points per game. Detroit won the last meeting 20 to 6. Baker Mayfield 3-0 against the spread in his playoff career. But Jared Goff, he will be the difference in this one. Playing indoors. I'm going Bucks plus six and a half, but I think the Lions advance. And this is my play of the week, Chiefs at Bills. I'm going under 46. Bills have won the last two matchups, including the 20 to 17 last month. But the Chiefs have won the last two playoff matchups. You may remember that 42-36 game just a couple of years ago. But the Chiefs defense has carried them. They've been having drops offensively. And I'll bring this one up. Rest. Teams with the rest advantage, small rest here. Road teams struggle. They're 11 and 11 against the spread. And let's not forget, Josh Allen has done well against teams averaging, allowing 20 to 20 points or less, winning 77% of the time. I'm going under 46. I think that's a low scoring game. I think the Chiefs win in advance. So there's your Joe Me the Money divisional round. You can read, uh, you can listen to our podcast on 98.5thesportshub.com if you missed it. Check out the weekly spread on NBC Sports Boston. It will be on probably immediately after the Celtics game tonight, their postgame coverage uh, as well.